Welcome back, peoples. Corinne, what do you reckon? Pacific bridal gown or what? I'm definitely going to need some help with this one. Come with me. Oh, I'd still marry you, B. Not! Don't touch me. What have you seen? Fashion. For every girl, the most important dress she'll ever wear is her wedding dress. But as a Pacific Islander, is there a way we can incorporate who we are into our dream gown? Hi, Paula. Hi, Karen. Hey, guys, this is the beautiful Paula Tan. Hello, Hi. Thanks for having us here at your studio today. Now, your edge is that you're a wedding dress designer that That's has right. a Pacific flair. What makes you do that? I want to be different from everybody else. That's how I come up with using different, you know, organic materials. Today you're making a dress for a Pacific bride. That's right. Do you think I could help you put that together? Let's go. Okay. Check this out. You design everything and make everything right here in this workroom. That's right. Do you have to take into consideration the special cultural things that will happen at the ceremony? Don't say someone, but do have, you know, perform a seva, which is a dance, right. our cultural dance. So that's where I come in with uh, an idea to put in a detachable train with it, where she can take it off when it comes to that time. Yeah. yeah. So is this the dress finished? Not really. We may have to go to the market to get some showers to finish it off. Oh, lovely. So, yeah. Let's go. Oh, Paula, we're here at the market looking for some island flavour. How do you choose the island aspects that you actually put on your dresses? I usually draw a, a design first and then have an idea of what I'm going to use and then I go out and look for materials like shells or tapas or, right. you know. Wonderful. And not only that, they're, they're quite cheap at the market too. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've got our bride turning up soon. We better get ready and finish the dress. That's right. This is our beautiful bride to be, Marie. How you doing? Uh, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, so quite what are you excited. Yes, quite excited. What do you think so far? Oh, it's so close. It's getting there. Okay. Why do you think it's important for young Pacific Island girls like us to have a dress like this on Just our wedding Just to be day? proud of who you are and your culture. Wow, you look stunning. <laughs> what do you love about the dress? Um, I love the flowers and how she's done the necklace and just the weaving. It's, it's gorgeous. Well, there you have it, New Zealand. You can include culture in everything, especially your wedding dress. Thank you to the beautiful Paula Chan and Marie. Thank and you. to all you Pacific brides out there, good luck. We'll see you guys back at the house. Passe foie. <laughs> Any sign of Phil and Michael Black? She was here, heading north. And she's alone. Are you stupid and deaf? What is wrong with you? Kia ora. Kia ora. Get to be our queen. Kapai. You're so useless, Henry. Go and get the food. I don't mind. My bad. Music. Ooh. She's one of the pioneers of early Aotearoa music with one of the most mesmerizing voices of today, the legendary Fremako Black. Now we've set up a little campfire here just for you. Oh, so if you could help me prep that, that'd be awesome. I don't know about helping you prep up, but I'll sit in front of him. <laughs> or you could sing. <laughs> Fremako, how did you get into singing? Through whānau. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, mum sang, um, Granddad sung, played uke and ukulele and other instruments, uh, harp, so, yeah, I think it was just a, a, a part of learning how to read. You do music, you sing. What genre of music do you sing now? I think it's a combination of kapahaka, traditional song, uh, R&B, yeah. Uh, jazz. If I wasn't purposely going after any particular genre, I would just sing from my heart what it feels like to be Māori singing about my history. Your history? Yeah. Because you also sing Te Reo Māori as well. Why do you decide to do that? Um, there's a, a real need uh, when I came back to, and even before, a real need for Māori to speak their own language. So I felt my way of giving back is to give 
as best as I can with the skills that I learnt as a native speaker. Do you feel like you are a pioneer for the Māori people because you sing to their Māori songs? I even hope that through what I was doing that I might um, excite and make um, our brothers and sisters for the Moana Rui Akiwa, the Pacific, sing yeah. their own waiata. Does sitting around a campfire inspire you to write music or sing songs? Oh yes it does. Actually when I saw the campfire today oh, I thought Hey, how did you know? <laughs> this is how your did thing, you know? yeah. Yeah, this is my thing. I know. You know? Apart from hitting the sand flies at the camp, this is my yeah, thing. I know. I'm not good at tucker. Is it useless? Yes, that's Kura right. <laughs> well, tucker. I'm glad you said that. <clears throat> that this is this is your thing, yeah. um, because I think we'll sit here and I'll get the others out to so you can jam us a waiata. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Ka pai. <laughs> Thanks to all our guests. Don't forget to check out our website www.pacificbeachstreet.net. We'll see y'all next week. Now, Phil and Michael's gonna sing us a wire up. I gonna. This program was made with funding from New Zealand on air.